Orgasmic Living. I am your host, Patty Alfonso, and I'm so excited for today's question, which comes to us from Sonia in the United States. And her question is, what is the key to tapping into orgasmic energy and holding on to it? And I love these twofold questions because I have lots to say about both of those things. Hi, Jen, welcome. Um, first of all, what is the key to tapping into orgasmic energy? So let's refresh our undefined uh, definition of the energy of orgasm. And one of those keys is the ability to be present with all sensations and all energies. Now I'm going to break this down a little bit. You are an infinite being and you have a body. You're an infinite being and you have a male body or you have a female body or some other <laughs> variation of that. But as an infinite being, you really do have the ability to perceive, know, be, and receive all energies. Okay, so to tap into orgasmic energy, which is the ability to be present with all sensations and energies, my question is, what are the energies that you are not allowing yourself to be? What are the energies that you are not allowing yourself to have? Now, this is how I ended up really diving into this topic for the past 10 years of my career is because I knew I knew that there were energies that I wasn't allowing myself to be and to have. Um, and one of the things that, and this is actually inspired by you, Jen, thank you so much. One of the, the sort of misidentifications that we have in this world is when we use the terms, and this is also one of the ways that we stick ourselves, right? When we use the terms masculine energy or feminine energy. So I wanna just clarify. Energy does not have gender. Your body has gender. Okay, so energy is just energy. The second that we decide that an energy is masculine or that an energy is feminine, you are already cutting off the possibilities of those energies, especially if you really, really identify yourself with your gender, right? And then, oh, well, I'm, I'm a female, so I can't be those energies because those energies are masculine. Or I'm a man and I can't be those energies because those energies are feminine. Or I'm a man and I have too many feminine energies, therefore there must be something wrong with me. Or I'm a woman and I have too many masculine energies, therefore there must be something wrong with me. This is all a whole bunch of different ways in which we judge ourselves out of being everything that is available to you as an infinite being. I'm gonna repeat it. You're an infinite being with the ability to perceive, know, be, and receive everything. And the energy of orgasm is the ability to be present with all energies and all sensations. None of those have the energy of judgment in them. Yes, I can do this. No, I can't do that. Yes, I should do this. No, I shouldn't do that. Those are all around the, the, the energies of judging, your, judging ourselves out of being. Now, I was kind of looking at this and I was like, well, what are some, you know, examples of energies? Okay, so I kind of made a list and I'm going to try to read... Uh, I'm going to try to say it without <laughs> looking at my list, but I'm probably going to. So um, the energies of joy, vibrancy, exuberance, right? These are all sort of, you know, non-masculine um, or feminine. These are just all energies that are available to all of us. Um, but what about the energies of being determined? What about the energies of being assertive? The energies of being aggressive? aggressively present with yourself, aggressively present with your body, um, the energies of potency, assertiveness, demand, right? These are sometimes energies that we sometimes describe mostly for men, but you're an infinite being, so you can have and be all energies. What about the energies of lust and luxury? 
and the energies of creativity and generosity? What about um, the energies of rebellion? The energies of being provocative? These are all energies that are available to all of us. Whether you have a male body or a female body. Hi, Jocelyn, welcome. So um, to wrap this piece up of what is the key to tapping into orgasmic energy, one of the most important keys is to allow yourself to be any and all energies in any given moment, to allow yourself to be present with those energies no matter what they are. And I want to invite you in the next week to start looking at where the places where you are cutting yourself off from a particular energy. You know, do you allow yourself to be courageous in every moment? Do you allow yourself to be that potency of like a dragon if that was required? <laughs> And just notice where the places where you're not allowing yourself to be the full expression of an infinite being that you truly can be. And then look at the energies that you don't, that you don't allow your body to be, that are available to your body. Okay, so the next piece of Sonia's question was, how do I hold on to it? And I chose to, you know, play with this because it's a really simple answer um, or awareness is that you don't, you don't try to hold on to it. Energy is continuously moving and changing. And the second that you try to hold on to something is the second that you are squashing it out of existence. Uh, Tapping into, again, the energy of the last time that you actually had a, an orgasm in bed with another body or with yourself, could you have held on to that energy for very long? Or was it a total loss of control in that moment in the most delightful, magical way? So it's not about holding on to this energy. It's about opening yourself up to being it, gifting it, receiving it, having it, enjoying it, and then allowing it to flow through your body, allowing it to move through your body and the entirety of your being. So in addition to inviting you to look at, and I guess this is, this kind of goes together, looking at and being present with and aware of the times that you stop yourself from being an energy, the times that you stop yourself from choosing something, the times that you stop yourself in any moment, and then, hi, Jean, welcome, and then allowing yourself the, the space to choose something different in that moment and allowing yourself to let go, which is the complete other <laughs> side of trying to hold on to something. It's really about letting go of control, letting go of barriers, letting go of your judgments, letting go of, you know, trying to be something um, that not let, let me rephrase that. Letting go of how you think you're supposed to be and allowing these new energies and inviting all of these new energies into your life. Hi, Tammy, welcome. So thank you all so much for being here. Hello, beautiful Annette. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys would have been here earlier. <laughs> um, next week, I'm actually gonna have a really cool free gift for you guys. So please do make sure that you come and play with me next week. If you would like to ask me a question, you can do so at orgasmicliving.live and let me know what it is that you would like to know. Check out the replays. Hi, ladies. Check out the replays of um, the videos because there's a lot of fun stuff going on. How does it get any better than this? I adore you all. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you next week, same time, same bat channel. Uh, orgasmicliving.live. Bye everyone. Thank you.